All right, so camera base is a little bit in my way, but I'm gonna try and make this work. So once you've got your 20 squares, this will be the thing you study off of. You can also, at the end, once you're done creating this sheet, cut them up into uh, flashcards and then have the name on one side because the hardest thing is going to be the structure. So then once you have the structures on one side and the names on one side so that you can study by sheet, if you want to make it into cards, you just cut into pieces, you know, put the shorthand or the letter on the other side and see if you can go from the letter to the shorthand to the name to the structure and, you know, just do it like flashcards if that's what works for you. But I just do off a study sheet and I'll explain as I go how I do it. The alphabet's easiest part. Um, I did do a video of this earlier, so they're a bit fresher in my head, but I was able to memorize the entire alphabet and like half the acids just because this method works well for me. And it's been like two months since I've done them. So it's pretty effective, but the alphabet's definitely the easiest part. So the best way to organize that I found is definitely not by structure or by charge or polarity or anything like that. So, because they're just kind of all over the place. So the easiest thing is since there's 20 amino acids, we're excluding you. Sometimes you is apparently one in special cases like cis and something and you know, I don't know what it's called, but you don't really go over that one much. And it's only a special case of amino acid. So there's 20, so that means there's not six letters. So there's no B, there's no J, there's no uh, O, there's no Z, there's no U typically, and no X. So besides those, there's A for ala, which is alanine. A best amino acid ever. C equals cis for cysteine. D dasp for um, you can either we'll go with aspartic acid or aspartate. Either one. Uh, glue is normally spelled with an e. So I'm, the way this is the only one I do. Oh shoot! Wow, punch me. This is the only one I write the other way because you know you spell glue with an E normally, but in this case, it's not actually part of it. It's the shorthand for glue, E. So that's the good way to remember. And then that's glutamic, wow. Acid. And then we've got ABCDF equals PHE for phenyl alanine. G equals gly for glycine. H equals his for histidine. Histidine. I for ILE because of iso L E U C I N E. Come on. K equals lice because I'm about to. Cause Okay, I'm about to lice these cells open for lysine. L equals L E U for leucine. M equals met. Methionine. And asparagine. For, the, for this one, just asparagine is an assassin. Is an assassin. Asparagine is an assassin. Oh, asparagine is an assassin. There you go. That's the way to remember this one. Uh, Milliman. O, P. P equals pro. Easy enough. Proline. Uh, R. Oh, wow. Q. This is, you got to know James Bond or at least remember this thing. So Q gives James Bond a good luck necklace full of glutamine. R equals arg, because pirates love arginine, I guess. Um, S equals ser, serine. T, because I'm giving Thor some teether for three O. Wow, T H R E O N I N E. Uh, T U V V. Val, valine. Uh, w for TRP because you could say tryptophan won't trip. 
If I spend the night at Tryptophan's house, will he, will he trip? No, Tryptophan won't trip, homie. It's all good in the hood. Um, and then the last one is Y, because why do the British spell tire with a Y? Wow, wow, wow. Are you kidding me? It's the second time I've done this today. Oh my gosh. Tyrosine. So, alphabet part is easy enough. Hopefully you guys can see all that, you know. So we've got A for alanine, C for cysteine, D, DASP, glue spelled with an E normally, so that's how you remember this one, F for phenylalanine, G for glycine, his for his for histidine, I for ill for isoleucine, K, I'm about to lyse these cells open, L for leucine, M for met for methionine, Asparagine is an assassin. P, pro proline. Q gives James Bond a good luck necklace full of glutamine. Arginine, because pirates love R for Arg, because pirates love arginine. S for Sarah for Sarine. You're about to give Thor some teether. Threonine. Um, v for Val for Valine. Tryptophan won't trip. Why did the British spell tire with a Y? So that's the. Uh, the, uh, you know, what do they call them? So it starts with P or something. Mnemonics. These are the mnemonics, yes, that you can use. So, for the structure, alanine's easy enough to go blue. Alanine is just CH3. Uh, cysteine is what, CH2SH, uh, yes. I'm pretty sure. Hopefully that's not wrong. I don't want to have to edit any of this. So this is going to be CH, C double bond O, O minus. This is just going to be double the methyl. Glycine is easiest. H, histidine. I drew it earlier and I already forgot it. Um, isoleucine. Uh, lysine. So, I heard uh, that song on the radio uh, was playing when I was studying these. And that overplayed song that y'all don't want no y'all don't want no problems with me, and that you know whatever whoever makes that song for you his name. Uh, so you just the, you tune that little that little part of the song, you know y'all don't want no y'all don't want no problems with me. Lysine is four methyls positive amine. So here we go ch ch ch. -H -C -H -H NH three plus. Leucine is, okay, so for leucine, we're gonna drop down to valine real quick, because valine is easy if you picture a V, so. And leucine is valine's crazy cousin, because leucine has an extra methyl group on top of him. So you can see it's the same structure as valine here, but it's got this extra methyl before. Methionine, that's, what is that? So that's two sulfur, yeah. So, is it two sulfur? Yeah, it's gotta be. Uh, and yeah. And then, and this is just S. Yeah, no H. Um, Asparagine is an assassin. So, the way for this one is, let me see if we can zoom in just a little bit. I'll try to, try to be wary of where I'm moving the paper into. So, kind of maneuver around this camera base. So, um, sorry, I know that shadow's probably annoying. Um, what was I saying? Oh, asparagine's easy to remember because if you remember aspartic acid, then you can just go, well, the P is replaced with an N. So at the N with an N, 
or sorry, at the end with an N, you know, at the end with an N replaced. So, and the reason that is, is because literally you're just gonna draw this, C double bond O, and at the end, instead of having that O, you're gonna have an NH2 here. So the N replaced with an N. So you remember this, you can remember this, easy enough. Proline is uh, not so bad. It's gonna be that, that, this is gonna be your NH down over. And then Q, give Jane Bond a good luck necklace full of glutamine. Uh, necklace, uh, I'm pretty sure that's H2CH2C. Is this the NH1 or is this the O? Let's go with O and H2, I'm pretty sure. Hopefully if I don't have to edit any of this. Um, but yeah. Just, that's kind of a structural one. So the, the, the mnemonic is really just for the name. The structure you just gotta remember along with it. Arginine, that's A-R-G-N-I. And that's, so you kind of have to picture like A-R-G. So for each of these is a, is a carbon group. And then the I's is like another line to an N. So when I say that, what I'm saying is so like C-H, some room here, N, and then another C, and another N, right? So, two, yeah, and then this is going to be a positive NH2, NH, NH, and so, oh, this is also going to be an H2, yeah, yeah, okay, so, with this one, you go A, R, G, I, N, E, I guess, I'm sorry, a R G I N I N E. Okay, so what I was talking about with the thing is, and it really only works for the first part, you kind of got to remember it. You, you, once you get to here, you can kind of remember it. It's like a, a, a surrounded by N's, the C. So it's A R G I N A R G I N. Um, that's kind of as close as I can get to, to memory. It doesn't really work for these last few parts. But so A, R, G, I for this actual bond, N, and then these last three things are, there's three letters left, but I can't really make the, the letters match up to this. So remember that once you get A, R, G, I, N, there's three letters left and there's three molecules left. And this NH2 is positive. Okay, quick little edit to be made. As I was watching the video, I noticed that I totally did uh, arginine wrong because I only had three bonds around this carbon. And then uh, my NH2, for some reason, I decided I'm going to cross out the two and the plus charge, even though those are actually there. So it is NH2, but it is also still positively charged. But the only difference is it's got this double bond. So ignore the arginine I have in there. Um, it's wrong it, or just add a double bond. But the rest of it is right. It's NH2 plus. So, and it's one of the positive molecules. I don't know why I erased that. But yeah. Uh, for serine, that's easy, CH2OH. Serine, like, uh, sorry, threonine, like serine, but with an extra methyl. So CH, go with OH down here, and CH3 over here. We've done valine, tryptophan. Come on, got it from memory, please. CH, hold on, let me draw it in my head real fast. I will mess this up. So C, double bonded, CH, yes. So it's double bond, double bond, double bond, double bond. Okay, so then here, down to the NH, one more, there we go. there, double on there. Oh, and the one here. So we got a double on here, here. So boom, 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 boom. Um, there's, uh, there's no, I don't have any mnemonic for the structure and the name on this one. That one's just a pain. And then, um, why can't I remember this to be? 
Uh, tyrosine is easy. So if you watch Game of Thrones, Tyrion Lannister likes alcohol, so he drinks phenylalanine with an alcohol group. So. So, he drinks phenylalanine with an alcohol group. He's an alcoholic, Tyrion Lannister. Don't know Game of Thrones, just remember that. Tyrion Lannister loves alcohol, so he drinks phenylalanine with an alcohol group. Um, let me look up his steam real fast. Got it. So we got CH, then we got down to the C, double bond down to a C again. So you just remember this part, and then it's gonna be from the first one over to an N, and from the second one over to an N. Then in the middle, they meet another methyl. But this one's got a double bond. CH, that's taken up, CH2. Good enough. Hopefully. So then once you've got this, you can either, the way I did it, and then you can add on your positive negative. So obviously, as far as charge side groups go, you can just kind of add a, a footnote. This one here is negative. This one here is negative. This one here is positive. This one here is positive. I don't remember where the last one is. Am I forgetting one? There's five, aren't there? All right, looked up the fifth one. It was histidine. Although there's not a charge on it, so why is that? Anyway, my bad, I forgot an H here. An H. But yeah. Um, histidine's the other positive one. I forgot that H. Uh, you can add polar, non-polar, all that to the group, but I'm going to end the video here. You can add that on your own. This is just how to make this part. The rest, the, those things, there's no good, I don't have anything for that. You just got to remember which ones are non-polar, which ones are, you just got to group them together. Um, and remember that. The, it's easy to remember which ones are, uh, which electronic charge, um, because it, obviously the only one that's kind of hard is histine, because it doesn't have like an actual charge that you write with the structure. These ones are negative, these ones are positive, and so is histine. But the way I do the structure remembrance is I just look at this, get it, remember it a few times, remember this one a few times, remember this a few times, remember this one a few times. So once I get to the end of the row, I start from scratch, don't look at it, can I go, okay, alanine, what does that look like? Cysteine, what does that look like? And picture it in my head. I don't know, maybe that's hard for some people and they'd rather do flashcards, but that's what I do. And I, that's the part that really takes long. That's like an hour of actual studying this sheet and you will have it down. You just... And once you can do those four, you do the next one. Then you get these four down, then you start back from the beginning. But once you get further, you kind of have to, like, pretty much once you get to this row, each time you memorize one, do them all again and get to that one. So then you memorize this one, you do them all until you get here. Then you memorize this one, you do them all once more in your head, get this one. But that way you'll really have it down. Anytime you're on a test, anything like that, you can picture it and you'll be able to recall it from memory right away. Um, hopefully this helped. And like I said, you can turn them into flashcards if you want, or just keep it as a study sheet. And yeah, good luck in biochemistry. And